Hey well, YouTube, welcome back guys. Hey, we're gonna keep working ahead on this, uh, our little 6cc engine more engine. Uh, you can see the wheels for the cart are missing. Well, I've been trying to put our 3D printer to work on different designs for our, well, our skid that our truck's gonna mount on. So, I don't know, I've attempted twice now and they're getting better. We're going to use the 3D printer to try a couple different designs to see how it works, and then we'll cut them out of a piece of aluminum. So, all right, let me get this out of the way. You guys seen this uh, one sitting back over here? I'll get him moved. We'll bring him up. We're going to take a look at that one today. All right, you guys see this okay? Well, this is made by Solar Engines. It's a PM engine, and this is the uh, Ericsson Rider engine. These were, a, this is a scale model of a full size, I mean, big engines. And they were a hot air engine that pumped water. So I've never seen this one run. We're going to take our, this is a used engine, but we're going to take it, fill up our burner here and uh, set it in here, light it. And we'll see what we've got. I'll set my stopwatch up over here and uh, we'll let it get warmed up. We do have a full range of motion. It feels kind of stiff, but we'll see if it runs. If it doesn't, well, we'll dig into it. So let me get this filled up. Okay, we've got our syringe, and it's denatured alcohol. You never want to run gas in these. So, all right, we've got fuel in there. We'll let it soak up to our wick. Put our lid on. Give that a second to soak up. Okay, well, we've probably given this enough time to soak up. Yep, we're wet on the end, so we'll light that. And we'll set this underneath here. I'll start my stopwatch, and we'll give this well, a minute or so to get warm. We'll see what happens. Okay, guys, well, you guys can see that. We're at 1 minute and 31 seconds. Let it warm up. Our cylinder's warm. And it's not going to take off. I think it's gummed up. Let me show you what I mean by saying that. We'll blow this out. And I'll show you. Okay, you guys see this little one here? It's uh, the same principle. It's a hot air Stirling engine. We'll light our fire down here. We'll give it just a little bit to warm up. And then uh, I'll show you what the common problem is. I've talked about it in other videos with these engines before. But you guys will get to see a live demonstration. I'll pull you in a little bit closer you can see. There. How's that? Can you guys see now? We've given this a little bit of time to warm up. We'll see if it'll take off for us. So there it is. It's running along just as happy as can be. Not all that fast. But, you know, we always want to oil these. So we'll give it a little bit on our main bearings. And we'll give it some down here on our wrist pin. And we picked up speed a little bit. Common practice, one would think, you're going to want to oil your rods. See how much slower it's running? Well, you'd think we'd want to oil this piston too. Watch what happens. See that? Once these pistons get oil on them, that's it. You can get that fire, let it burn as long as you want, and that's it, guys. That's about all you'll get out of it. So we need to degrease this one. That's my fault. But you guys got to see why you don't oil your pistons on a hot air engine. All right. This one's here. I'll pull you guys back out. We'll start taking it apart, seeing if that's what our issue is. Okay we're back out so 
Let's start tearing into this. I've never had this one of these apart before. So let's all figure out together. Yeah, I can see. I don't know. You guys are in a bad spot. Let me move you. You guys see how shiny this is here? Let's see if I can get some on my finger. That black. It's been oiled. So odds are that's what our issue is. We start taking this apart here. We'll get our walking beam out of the way. Get him up out of here and then uh, pull our piston out. Let's see what we can. Okay, got. guys. I thought I'd show you a close up of my fingers essentially. So we've got uh, there. We would pull this here up. We've got our rod off. This has got a whole lot of compression to it. So there we got that. Let's get our displacer pulled up. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to take these loose, aren't I? Let me get these out of the way. You guys get to see what happens next. Well, that one's not hooked to anything, so. All right. Let's pull all this up out of here together as an assembly. There. We'll put our rest of it over here and take a close look at this. And you guys see all that black schmoo that's just all over this? This poor thing wouldn't have ran. So, and it's, this should just about fall through there and it, it's gritty and stiff. It's not good. Let's degrease all this. See what we end up with. Well, that looks a whole lot better. And this isn't all covered in schmoo either. Let's uh, see how well this fits over here now. There, see? You want as little to no friction as possible when it comes to any Sterling engine. So, we got that cleaned out. We're going to look down here in our... Let's get our burner out of here before we dump it. Let's look down here in our bore. You guys probably won't be able to see a whole heck of a lot, but I'm going to go ahead and clean that out too. It looks great down at the bottom, but well, this finger's clean. And we've got some buildup on there, so I'll, I'll get that cleaned up, and then I'll show you guys what we're going to use to lubricate it with. So let me get this clean, we'll start putting it back together. Okay, we got our cylinder bore all cleaned out. So let's. Uh, up our hot side back down in here then we've got our power piston here and normally what would you guys think we would use on this powder graphite right well powder graphite works but <clears throat> I found this stuff molybdenum disulfide and you want to talk about something that is slick this stuff is an ultra fine powder you can see this stuff is like just dust. I mean, literally dust. And just putting that on there makes your hand just, I mean, well, you look like the Tin Man. So it doesn't take a whole lot, but boy, is it slippery. And that's what we're going to put all over our piston here. Let me get this coated. We'll start putting it back together. I don't know if you guys can see. I look at the crap on my fingers. But see the difference of color between here and here? This stuff is just ridiculously slippery. So, get this back in here. I'll start putting it back together. I want to see this thing run. We've got good compression. That's amazing. It slips nice, but we've got great compression. So, alright, let me start putting the rest of this back together. Okay, guys, well, it's all back together. Feels good. All right, well, let's put a little water down here for our cooling jacket. And uh, we'll put our burner back underneath it here. We'll light it up and we'll see if we have a running engine again. The 
this shouldn't take all that long to be warmed up and ready to go. Especially, you know, heat travels up. That other one, it ran around it. This is going up inside of it. So, let's see if we got anything. Oh, yeah. Won't be long now, fellas. I wonder who that is. Oh. We gotta prime our pump up here, too. Getting closer. Almost. Well, this is the first time I've seen it run too, fellas, so I guess we'll know. see the water pump well, you can't really see the water pump doing much but it is pumping water these are fascinating engines to watch around there's so many moving parts they're uh, always been a favorite of mine you see the full-size ones in there just enormous and uh, this is running a lot faster than the full-size ones do they'll just sit there and just barely tick over their Really an incredible engine. So. All right. Well. There you have it, guys. Oh, I guess I know what I'm going to be doing next. I'll be tearing this guy down, degreasing it. Putting some of this molybdenum disulfide in there for lubricant. But hey, we know that it does run now. So hey, thanks again. You guys are fantastic. I'm glad you guys are watching. Uh, thank you so much for those of you who have subscribed. Um, leave me a comment down below. And uh, oh yeah, happy Thanksgiving, guys. See you in a day or two.